Turn now to the investigation into the deaths of two Navy SEALs who were lost at sea while on a mission off the coast of Somalia earlier this year. The results are out this morning, and our chief global affairs correspondent, Martha Raditz, has the details. Good morning, Martha. Good morning, Rebecca. This was a dramatic mission with a tragic ending. Two elite Navy SEALs drowning, and we are learning this morning that it never should have happened. This morning, a Navy investigation revealing the two Navy SEALs who were part of a daring nighttime boat raid to stop missile components being shipped to Iran-backed Houthis sank within 47 seconds of falling into the ocean because of the weight of their gear. 36-year-old SEAL Christopher Chambers, once a Division I college swimmer, grabbed the railings of the smuggler's ship to climb on board, but lost his grip and fell nine feet into rough waves below, and with nearly 50 pounds of gear on his back, quickly sank. Seeing Chambers struggle, 27-year-old Gage Ingram immediately jumped in to save him, but with as much as 80 pounds of gear on his back, he too quickly sank. The head of Central Command calling the deaths preventable. The report finding that the SEALs lacked a failsafe and layered defense to provide buoyancy to overcome the weight of equipment. The Navy now recommending changes to training and new standards for gear checks. And the Navy now hailing the younger SEAL, Gage Ingram, as a hero. His family telling ABC News they are grateful for the diligence of the investigation. And they remain immeasurably proud of Gage's heroic sacrifice. Whit. All right, Martha Raditz, thank you. The